Yo, what's up? I was just sitting on the couch, scrolling on YouTube. I was kind of bored, but then I found a YouTube video that kind of scared me. How to eat a bag of chips. What? The name of this channel is Alan Tutorial, and this Alan dude makes videos that are so strange. This video is what made me realize just how weird this channel is. But you know what's even weirder about this channel? Out of the 28 million views that this channel has, nobody knows who this guy really is. This is just one of the strange and weird YouTube channels that we're looking at in this video. If you're a little kid and you get creeped out easily by some weird YouTube channels, leave this video right now. Leave. Alright, so we're on the way to Strangeville. It's a town full of the strangest YouTubers and the strangest YouTube channels ever created. Not a lot of people step foot in this town. I think they're babies or something. Strangeville is actually really big, but we have to go right here. This is where all the YouTubers live, apparently. Well, this is the place. I mean, there's two rundown houses right here, and then there's one super nice house. Are we in Indiana, bro? Let's go into the house that looks normal. I don't really want to go into these dirty houses yet. Okay, so what YouTuber lives in this house? Why is this the cleanest house on the block? What is going on? Why do I feel like I recognize this guy? Turns out, this is a YouTuber named Benjamin Bennett. And you want to know what he does? You want to know what he does on his YouTube channel? He sits on the floor. He sits on the floor and he smiles at the camera in every single video. No wonder there's no furniture in the house. He sits in front of the camera, says absolutely nothing, and he posts it on YouTube. But guess what? You're not going to believe me when I say this. He doesn't sit there for 5 minutes, or 10 minutes, or even 30 minutes, or even an hour. He sits there for 4 hours. Don't believe me? You don't believe me? Look at this. So he sets up the video, and then he scoots back right into his little corner. And then he sits there, smiling at the camera for 4 hours. You see, I've been looking at weird YouTubers for a while now on my channel, and I featured this guy in one of my videos like 4 years ago, and at the time, I thought this guy was crazy. And four years later, he's still sitting and smiling at the camera. This Benjamin dude has done this 323 times. 323 videos of him sitting and smiling for four hours? Like, bro, do you not poop? I ended up doing the math, and this dude has sat in that corner for 1,252 hours, which is 52 days. 52 days of your life sitting in timeout? Imagine you go to a class reunion and you're going to see all your friends and they ask you where you work and you say, oh, I have a YouTube channel. And then they ask, oh, what videos do you make? Like, are you a gamer? Or, nah, I sit in the corner and I stare at a camera. A lot of people have accused this guy of faking these videos. Basically, they say that he sits there for five minutes, he edits it, and then makes it look like it's four hours. So he started live streaming these. His most recent sitting and smiling video was posted a month ago. And the comments on this video are so funny. Bro is still going? I'm just amazed at the fact that he's been doing this for nine years straight. But there's been times where he's sitting there smiling and some crazy things happen. In his fifth ever video where he's sitting there smiling, he's sitting in his room, nothing weird's going on yet, until you get to two hours and 36 minutes in. Somebody tried to break into his house while he's sitting and smiling, and look at his reaction. This dude is about to break into a house, and there's a guy sitting in the middle of the living room smiling. There's no furniture or anything. The robber was so scared that he just said, hello? And then after Benjamin didn't answer, he just left. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I saw a dude sitting in silence just smiling with no furniture, I would have left too. But in the 257th episode of him sitting and smiling, he started crying. He was sitting there just smiling for like 3 hours and 24 minutes, but then after that, he started crying. In the 52nd episode of him sitting and smiling, he, uh, I, I just watch this.
He had to go to the bathroom while doing this, so he decided to just do it there, in his pants. And yeah, he sat in his pee for the next hour and a half, so he could complete the four hour video. This dude has dedication, bro. That's what I smelled, oh my gosh. Bro, why is he holding a note? He was not holding that note when we first got here. This is a piece of a ripped up note. I don't know why he gave it to me. It says 3 a.m. Don't tell me this next house has a 3 a.m. YouTuber in it. Please don't tell me. Well, we just explored the nicest house on the block and now there's two dirty houses to look at. Let's just go to this one. I don't even care anymore. Why is this house a cave, bro? I thought we were looking at strange YouTubers, not tarantulas. I knew who the last YouTuber was because I remembered him from a past video. But this next YouTuber, I have no idea who it is. It says that this house is owned by Brad Maddox and this is his YouTube channel. This video says, in cave, need help. What? I've been separated from my group. Uh, it's been a couple of hours now, I think. I'm not sure, I was trying to find my way out and I can't. This dude is stuck in a cave and he made a YouTube video? Bro, call 911. In the rest of this video, he asked people to call 911 for him, and then he says he's gonna stay in the cave so he doesn't get even more lost. I mean, I guess. The strange part of this channel starts when you realize that he posted another video in this cave where he's saying his goodbyes and he's saying that he doesn't know if he's gonna make it out. Nine days after he posted that video where he's stuck in a cave, he posted another video where he seems like he's going crazy. And well, I am breath, I will fight! A lot of people assumed that he was just becoming crazy because he was in a cave for nine days, but some people didn't believe him. Somebody said, that cave's Wi-Fi is amazing. And somebody else said, that phone battery is great. And that made me realize, this guy has to be lying. This has to be a fake. This guy has to be making all of this up. A couple of weeks later, he made a video where he's inside of a room, but he's acting kind of crazy. You knew I wasn't in a cave. You knew I couldn't upload high quality video without Wi-Fi or phone service. <laughs> oh, smarties. <laughs> Except you didn't. No. You did think that I was fighting for my life in a cave in Mexico and where were you? <laughs> where? Where were you? I was in a cave in Mexico and where were you? This dude is having a meltdown live on camera. He talked about how he used to be a WWE wrestler and how now nobody cares about him. I ended up doing some research and yeah, he's not lying. Brad Maddox actually was a professional WWE wrestler and he was really kind of famous. But why did he make this channel? What's the point of these videos? He's just crazy in these videos. This dude was once a celebrity and then he decided to fake being in a cave and then started acting crazy on camera. I can't really find anything online that says anything about what he's doing nowadays. So I guess we'll never know what happened to him. There's another piece of paper right here. This is a piece of that note. Where do these keep coming from? This note says meet at. Somebody wants me to meet them somewhere? Who? Wh where do they want me to meet them? What? I have to find the last part of this note and I feel like it's in this final house. I think we all know whose house this is. Oh my God, what is all this stuff on the floor? What's disgusting in here? You remember in the intro of this video, I mentioned Alan Tutorial, one of the strangest channels ever? I think he lives here. Alan Tutorial. A channel ran by a guy named Alan and he makes tutorial videos. Like how to eat a bag of chips. Okay, um, let's see what Alan has to say. Let's see if we can learn how to eat chips. Uh, hey guys, welcome to YouTube. Um, as always, I do a uh, helpful tutorial. And today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to, <sighs> how to eat a bag of chips. That might be the best intro I have ever heard. Uh, I just want to prepare you for this next part. He's about to say something that makes absolutely no sense at all. So you need a yoga mat, a bag of chips, and a tipped over blue chair. If I want to eat a bag of chips, I need a yoga mat, chips, and a tipped over blue chair? I never knew that. Thanks. And then for the next minute of this video, he's laying down, eating chips, spitting them everywhere. Thanks, Alan. I really needed that tutorial. Anyways, bye guys. Alan's first ever video on this channel is explaining how to leak through a piece of paper and he pours water through a paper with holes in it? Like, am I dreaming? What is this video? The things you're gonna need are, you're gonna need a pad of paper, white paper, you need a fork. Thank you. 
But this is the video where he actually started to go crazy. Just look at this video. Okay, this is a tutorial on if there's an emergency in your room and you're freaked out. First, you've got to find a stick and use it to whack at the freaking, the freaky, freaked out, the thing that's giving you spooks. Okay, if it's still spooking you out, you drop to the floor. I drop to the floor. Now I'm on the ground. And use your hand to push, push yourself deep, uh, to get yourself deep under the bed. Once you're under the bed, you can just... Use boxes or hide yourself. Use to protect your body. And hopefully if it doesn't stop, you call for help, help, help. Most of these tutorial videos Alan has made have had hundreds of thousands of views, mainly because he posted these 11 years ago. I was like six when he made these videos. But this video right here has three million views and it's his strangest video yet. Hey, hey guys, um, thanks for coming to my Bluetooth page. Uh, Today I'm going to do an, an, a new tutorial, how to pick up a chair fall, if it falls down. Okay, so he's teaching us how to pick up a chair that falls down? Th this video is life changing. <coughs> if you have a blue chair that fell down, first thing you got to do is you get down to the level of the chair and you touch it. <coughs> he's crying. He's crying because of a blue chair that fell over? Throughout the whole video, he tries and tries to pick up the chair, but he's not able to pick it up. Getting your hand on it and giving a pull. <laughs> he's desperately trying to pick this chair up and teach us how to pick it up, but he fails and he ends the video. If you can't get the chair to come up, you just leave it on the ground. Bye guys. Alan Tutorial never showed his face on his channel. He never said anything about his personal life, and nobody knew who this guy was. People ended up finding out that this Alan guy was actually somebody named Alan Resnick, somebody who worked with the TV show Adult Swim. You know Adult Swim? I think they're a part of Cartoon Network. I might be wrong, but he works for them. Apparently, this Alan Resnick guy made these videos as a joke. He acted like a young man who has an obsession with making tutorial videos. But that makes me wonder, why? This Alan Resnick dude is a normal guy. He has a wife, he probably has kids, he probably has a fat stack of money from working at Adult Swim. Why make these videos on a random YouTube channel? Why? And would you look at that? There's a note on the blue chair, the final piece of that note that we were looking for. All right, well, let's see what this note says. Meet at the playground 3 a.m. There's a playground in Strangeville? What? Who made this note? I don't know what to do. All right, well, it's 2.59 a.m. It's kind of scary out here. There better not be any 3 a.m. challenge YouTubers here. What the? Welcome to Strangeville. 